back. Um, I am looking at the map here from uh, our game and uh, I am trying to see where can we go next. Uh, we connected Birmingham, we connected Cambridge to Birmingham and Oxford to Birmingham. So we actually made good, quite a good traffic into Birmingham and uh, at some point we need to connect Birmingham with Manchester Liverpool, maybe York uh, and all the way up to Carlisle, Glasgow, Edinburgh and uh, connect the Scottish Highland as well. Uh, <clears throat> but today I will aim on getting Bristol connected because there's a bonus and uh, that one is going to be a little bit tricky 17 days I don't think we can get enough money to get that done quickly could connect that down to Birmingham but it would not really be beneficial so uh, Bristol will be the first place to, to try to connect to and then it's going to be a little tricky one because we have so to speak so what we would have to do is kind of blowing some of it up not blowing all of it up but try from there then pull that from there to there. That should be fine. And then we can take that and send to the city here as a double track to the existing one which of course will cost money so we have to wait until we have the money to do it but uh, as we were starting to uh, earn money then we should uh, quite quickly be able to put that piece into place uh, what I'm going to do is put a third one through here as well so this actually becomes kind of a, a true station but uh, none of the trains will actually stop there so that's uh, that's the plan for now and uh, I said we need the money before we can do anything train is uh, running even though we are sitting sitting around so that's the good thing when you have this speed going um, things are happening on your network already so that that's actually not a bad thing but as I talked about earlier you very often would be sitting waiting and uh, have to earn the money so you can expand your expand your your network and but the more you expand it the more money you earn the easier it gets 
down the line so it's just in the beginning of the game it seems to take a lot of time but I would say if you like the, these kind of, kind of games then it's not a problem there is uh, a lot of planning micromanagement um, kind of getting into doing the things you would do to to make a, 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 an effective network Let's see that we got the second one and I'm, I'm actually building this already so it's create a video of each new train driving off and see how it uh, actually handles with, uh, with speed and uh, good so uh, it will be a little bit of visual uh, I can do to that as well besides building the, the Back to uh, Bristol. I also want to separate traffic to and from Birmingham, but uh, that will have to wait a little bit for now. So we built the first almost part. So turns to be able to switch around on the track. On, on that line and don't uh, mess up with the other one. It's going very slow over the curve here. Um, that's unfortunately the price we have to pay for now. So, 
where can we put the station in Bristol so it is best because we would like to be able to scoop all towards Swansea so can we put it like that then we might have some bridge going over but otherwise it actually seems fine so going to be too expensive the only problem is the station platform but that actually looks kind of fine then the question is Plymouth Actually seems to work this way, so we just need some money so we can build it. So the first platform you buy can always be expensive because you kind of want the middle ones for your important traffic and the, the outer line ones to your um, rural businesses so it's all about planning and uh, the less you have to actually um, put into uh, rebuilding the better it is because uh, of course everything is possible you can do it if you want to do it but uh, it, it's all about those little things where you actually plan ahead where you can that makes it better for yourself So the next one will be much cheaper. And I promised that there would be some review ongoing. Um, and my feeling with the game is that uh, it's interesting to sit and play but it's slow paced and I only had one kind of disappointment and I will get to that when we get to it so we can see we actually are earning more and more money the expenses is roughly the same and the income is rising so that is really good it took a dip because we pay interest and stuff like that on our loan so that's kind of how it is There's not much we can uh, actually do to prevent that other than not taking loans 
whole issue of bonds is just called, but uh, it, it, it's it's kind of part of business life uh, that you 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 need to have money to invest, and uh, when they're invested, you can build on the profit you get in, and uh, from there, hopefully. At some point, your loan will be paid back, and uh, you will actually be fine. See, the next one is 164, and that was on the wrong side. So, I need to make sure that the trains can come through. So doing it on that side would, uh, was suddenly much cheaper, so we are getting close to being able to actually put this into operation as well. And the thing is, um, even though I don't connect Bristol with Dover directly, Passengers from Bristol to Dover will find a way. They will drive from Bristol to Oxford, change train there to London, Dover, and go that way. And the same with the other cities. So some cities will become uh, traffic points and, and uh, really being where a lot of change will happen but that is uh, that is not a bad thing so Then I don't actually need to put another one. Is there a maintenance depot? So everything will be repaired in Oxford. So we don't need to think about that right now. Later we will because uh, we will drag trains into to Bristol and uh, that is how it is. So, we make a new rail line from Oxford and we want it to drive on the outer track. And of course we want that to go on there. Bristol and uh, the other way we wanted to go on the proper track as well. You probably don't have to do that, but uh, I prefer to make sure that things are as good as they should be. So this is a mix, I'm not going to split this out. At this point at least, maybe, maybe down the line, but uh, for now we have connected Bristol to, to the network and uh, we have another station that is functional. This bridge is a 
little bit of these ones. So until we get better um, engines, it will go a little bit slow. But at this point, I'm fine with it. But as the engine becomes better and stronger, it will go a little bit faster on the speed. But sometimes you have to, to actually put in a little bit more speed than you want to do. If you can see, the rocket is wanting to go and uh, get its uh, locks and then uh, return with them. That's really quite a nice video. So, when it comes up on the top, we can start to move it up to the I don't know what I will hit you, but uh, I am not uh, the one jumping my own. So, this thing takes off and it, it runs. So, and when we can see the other train is actually coming behind it because it knows it's going to go slow up and that's all fine it's money and uh, we will get the bonus there hopefully and uh, that's good for us as well so down here is a meat farm so I will need to connect that to that one because I need these two to go to Plymouth eventually. So let's uh, go down to the farm and uh, connect that as well. into the slaughterhouse which will uh, make meat will be, will be sent out on our uh, out on the journey to the rest of the at least where the warehouse is, is um, set for it so that is actually good and, uh, we need to make the line from open station Bristol. The train, and I'm actually choosing the new uh, freight train. I need to mark it as freight. There we go. Should do. That train, it is it, and put 
any refrigerator tower on because I will actually keep a little bit more money. It will not do until the next trip, but uh, Actually, good. So what I will do, I will build a maintenance depot here because the trains from the meat will be need uh, maintenance from time to time. So if you look at our task list, it um, now we have two of those. And we need to look at where more are. There's one up there. So we need to connect Swansea. So we need to connect Manchester or Liverpool. Which one is produced? Oh, they're both producing meat. So, yeah. So that will be the task for the next line going Manchester to Birmingham, I think. We connected Bristol. So we got uh, one. We have actually made the Great Western now. We just need to connect Swansea, then it's all great in that direction. So before I end today, I'm going to check the different warehouses. No, actually, well, yes, I am. Um, this is transporting meat, so that is actually telling where it's sending it. Do I need to put any other on? No, because the meat is already there. But that is one thing you need to kind of keep an eye on. What do I need to uh, put in my warehouses? because demands and uh, um, well the demand changes and uh, it, it is all about if I put more rural on here I need to make sure it's transported out as well so I think warehouses is one of the most important things to bear in mind that you, you need to get things rolling. I need to get these connected at some point as well. So then we have a train. That is the new train. I already put one in. So, I have seven which is marked as freight, those I can replace, so that should be pretty much going to replace the 
No, I said old because the, the, it's not replacing the one which is already in use. So it, it's not that stupid. So by the motive, we have rocket there, which is actually not replaced. So I will go in. I will find it is going here. And uh, I will edit it and I will change it to the current. Confirm. Go over to Clark's terminal. that on as well because there is milk down here so now we have our fast running passenger trains and we have the slow running freight that all looks very good so with that I will stop for today and uh, say thank you for watching and uh, I'll be back in the next one.